Hello everybody. This is Easter Sunday, 2014, and I'm over at my uh, grandparents' place. And I wanted to show everybody what these turtles do when the water is chilly. So I'm going to zoom in here slowly and reveal what's going on over here on the drainage pipe. So we got turtles, lots of turtles. One big happy family. And they are trying to get the last little bit of heat that they can, even though it's an overcast day. Oh, somebody's moving. Somebody's moving. And they, they will just stack on top of each other and everything else. I think somebody's gonna go in the water. Let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. They must know I'm talking about them. They're all looking over in this direction. Moving on from the turtles, I want to focus your attention to the mud along the bank of this little drainage pond. And uh, this little fella here making his appearance, this is a mud dauber. And this mud dauber is seeking mud of the perfect consistency. So he's searching around, he's testing, he just threw a piece he didn't like out. Okay, now he is scooping with his mandibles, scooping and somehow liquefying mud into a ball. You can see it right now, just underneath him. He's rolling up a perfect little ball of mud, and he just flew away with it. Now I've got a close-up from probably the same mud diver who's just returned to his favorite mud daubing spot. And here he goes again. He takes the dirt and the mud in his mandibles and he just kind of somehow scoops it and mashes it up. And it starts to glisten with the moisture, but then he's going to take this huge daub of dirt and fly away. There we go. The end result uh, are these little mud tubes that they construct and usually there's more than just one mud tube. But you can see this little mud dauber here. It looks like he has a spider that he's going to stuff in there and that his young are going to consume when they when the eggs hatch. I think mud daubers also eat uh, caterpillars and things of that sort that they've paralyzed and that they put into the egg chamber. But that's my little mud dauber report. Until next time, God bless.